Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from southeastern Illinois where a John Deere 7720 Turbo Combine is harvesting soybeans. This was one of the top selling combines of the 1980s and we're going to take a look at this machine's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this combine at work. The 7720 Turbo Combine was introduced as part of the new Titan series of combines from John Deere for model year 1979. It was manufactured at the company's East Moline, Illinois Combine Factory through 1985 when it was updated to a Titan II model, which remained in the company's lineup through 1989. There were three different variations of the 7720 Turbo available from John Deere. A small grain combine, a corn and soybean combine, and a rice combine. The reason there were three different machines available was that they were set up to harvest crops in different parts of the country and specialized with different components to harvest those crops. The small grains machine weighs in at 18,566 pounds and was originally priced at $83,577. The corn and soybean machine, which is featured in this video, weighs in at 20,562 pounds and was priced at $86,346. The rice combine weighed in at $21,673 and was priced at $93,000. The rice combine weighed more than the other two machines by a little bit and was priced higher because it had heavier duty components to work in the abrasive rice crop that it was harvesting. The corn and soybean special 7720 turbo that you're watching was set up with different components to help it thresh corn and have a cleaner sample in soybeans while dealing with dirt and dust as the crop is being harvested. A standard 7720 turbo rolling out of the East Moline Combine Factory would be equipped with a John Deere 466 cubic inch engine rated at 145 horsepower and would feature a positive torque ground drive. There was an optional upgrade to a 165 horsepower rated engine with a hydrostatic drive for an additional $3,672. This combine is harvesting 20 feet of soybeans per pass with a John Deere 920 grain head that was originally priced at $10,450 when it was new. The 7720 Turbo Combine features five straw walkers for grain separation it is equipped with a 190 bushel grain tank and could be ordered with a 14 foot or 17 foot unloading auger that unloads grain at 1.9 bushels per second and is fitted with a 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. An optional rear four wheel drive axle was available for this combine at a cost of $9,440. A quick way to tell if a combine of this vintage has four wheel drive or is a two wheel drive model, the four wheel drive models have the treads on the rear tire facing forward. If it's a two-wheel drive model, those treads will be facing backwards.
It's time for the combine to unload its 190 bushel grain tank. We'll see the auger swing out over the gravity wagons as they pull up and start unloading the soybeans at 1.9 bushels per second. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing this John Deere 7720 Turbo Combine harvesting soybeans in southeastern Illinois, as well as learning about its specifications and original price tag. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well, so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.